it. You made American Sniper the number one movie at the box office this weekend. And our next guest knows it all too well, the realities of that movie I'm talking about in real life. That's because he is one of the deadliest snipers in American history. Former Army Ranger and Sniper Sergeant Nick Irving joins me now. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. It's great to have you here. You know, I'm looking at uh, your resume here. You, you've killed, you killed 33 men in less than four months. It's good to have you on yeah. our side, I'd say. Oh, yeah. Thank you. When you hear the stats, though, about the film American Sniper, I mean, this, this is your walk. That's basically your story. When you see so many people, close to 100 million, went to go see it, they're lining up for sold-out versions of this across the nation. What does that mean to you? What does it say to you when you know America's behind this film? I think it's a, a very humbling experience or something to be a part of that America still stands behind their troops and it's no longer, you know, it, it's not just bumper sticker deep. It's actually something that America stands behind. Yeah, it seems to be a pivotal turning point there. You know, you were in Afghanistan three times, Afghanistan a few times, probably too many feet, many to count. We thank you for your great yeah. service. Can you give us a glimpse into the mind of someone who does what you do? When I say those 33 kills in less than four months, how do you do that and then return here on, you know, safe soil as it was? Um, I think it's more or less a switch that needs to be turned on and off. Uh, sometimes that switch is harder for you know, others to turn off. Um, PTSD is a big deal right now, but uh, being a sniper, it's a very, uh, you know, it's a prestigious job, but being able to uh, stay calm, collective, and I mean, you do it for your brothers. That's the reason why I did it. I wasn't out there uh, looking for a big number to get, or I wasn't trying to be the next Chris Kyle or anything. I just wanted to be there for the 75th Ranger Regiment. If there's going to be another film, say, following your story, who would you want to play you? That's a good question. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I know who would play my dad, and I'd have to pick Denzel for that one. Okay, okay. You know, I wanna, you, your book is fantastic. I want to let everybody know about that, called The Reaper, um, which is your nickname. Uh, goes without saying after we talk about your numbers there. Um, and it has a great photo cover there showing your gun, and she's got a name. It's called Dirty Diana. Dirty Diana, yeah. The relationship with the weapon, so, uh, tell everybody about that. Oh, pretty much. Uh, I was a big Michael Jackson fan growing up. My parents, you know, uh, listened to Michael Jackson, but the name actually came from a deployment to Iraq. We were on some operation, and we were in a daylight firefight, and I happened to be in a striker, and my team leader at the time had an iPod, and on his iPod happened to be Dirty Diana, and we were listening to Dirty Diana during a firefight. Well, she seems to have served you well over the time. I want to ask you about this. Michael oh, yeah. Moore took to Twitter. Um, to really just slam mm -hmm. what you do. He said this, my uncle killed by sniper in World War II. We were taught snipers were cowards. We'll shoot you in the back. Snipers aren't heroes, are invaders, and invaders are worse. What do you say to him? Well, I don't think he deserves the breath that I'm about to give, but I'll just say Michael Moore, he wasn't there in Afghanistan, and the last time I checked, he's never shot anybody through the scope or with the scope of a scoped rifle. So I don't really... I don't think he deserves the, the breath that comes out of me right now for that, that so, statement. Don't you believe that he should have maybe turned that into some, somewhat of a thank you? I mean, here you are protecting everybody here. You know, the 1% protecting the 99. You go out and all those kills are really to keep us safe. Don't you think he owes you a thank you, not a shot? I don't really care what he gives me. A thank you or not, a lot of good guys and a lot of my friends died to, you know, for his right to, I guess, freedom of speech. So I'm not really worried about what he has to say. Well, you're a good man to take the high road there. Sergeant, it's pretty incredible to see how many people are really getting behind American Sniper, the film. Your story is incredible. The Reaper, you're known as a gentleman. You were today, of course, on Fox and & Friends. And we thank you for your continued service and all that you do. Well, thank you, guys. You got it.